Welcome to Create Income with or Without a Job. I'm Jamila Harris, your Create Income Coach. You will be thrilled to get the information to hear from our guests today. An extraordinary entrepreneur, Jessica Lewis, joins us. She is the CEO of Real Solutions for Real People. This interview is going to feature business startup advice. So Jessica Lewis, we welcome you to Create Income with Without a Job. Thank you. I'm, I'm very appreciative to be here this morning. Thank you for having me. There's one other caveat that I think many who are considering entrepreneurship and leaving an actual job often allow to hold them back. And that's the whole benefits, mm. you know, health mm -hmm. insurance, the benefits package. Mm -hmm. And so speak to your decision about that as a 1099, uh, you know, independent contractor. Absolutely. And so unfortunately, those are some of the sacrifices you have to make. So for one, um, I'm a, a big herbalist. So I rarely go to the doctors. I really have to take medicine for anything. I don't even take it for headaches, or cramps, anything. And so here's what I challenge people to think about. Is those benefits worth the life that you're missing, the purpose that you're missing? Because that is a hook that people constantly focus on is the benefit side of it. There are there is insurance out there that you can have as a small business owner. Um, even with healthcare.gov, a lot of people dismiss the the um, that particular aspect of it, but they even have subsidies for us. So let's just say your first year you may not make you know millions of dollars like you expected, but even with healthcare.gov, you can get insurance through them that meets your budget. So as much as you're, you may be paying now, it may not be that cheap, so to speak, but you can get vision, dental, and full medical with emergency specialists, all that stuff. That's just something that you have to learn to do on your own. And so part of transitioning out is the knowledge base that you're going to have to focus on. You have to, without a doubt, learn more about the entrepreneurial world. So this is not something that I'm telling people, even if it has to take you two years to transition out of your job, you do need to know a little bit more about what it means to be independent of an employer in order for you to become an employer. That's really key. You know what? I don't want this to get lost on the listening audience um, because I 100% agree with you. We are very focused on systematic health care and health insurance mm -hmm. because we are not focused on wellness. Right. And yes. it is so much better to be healthy and well mm -hmm. than to literally need health insurance. That's right. Or prescriptions and so forth. And of course, we're not trying to say anything to harm anyone. You know, medical conditions come up things are unexpectedly happen in our lives. But I think you and I both know, and if our viewers see any of our other interviews here, we have an interview with Dr. Hillary Woodson. Um, and, and the key is that we actually have more control over our health condition by the choices that we make, mm -hmm. how we manage stress, yeah. what we eat, what we drink, these are things we actually have control over. Mm -hmm. our, our sleep patterns, how much sleep we get in a day, how much we hydrate. Mm -hmm. These really are the bottom line to creating a state of wholeness and, and health, which the bottom line, it means that you're not as dependent upon having health insurance beyond some catastrophic event. And the other wonderful a uh, bit of knowledge, Jessica, that uh, I learned as a, a newer entrepreneur, once I could afford health insurance, because when I first started out as an entrepreneur, I wasn't generating enough money from my business to afford uh, my own health insurance. But eventually, when I did, I learned that the tax code, uh, you really should always know what the tax code allows, because the U.S. tax code actually made my premiums that I paid as an entrepreneur for my health insurance, 
uh, made them tax deductible. Uh, they were 100% tax deductible as a small business owner. So it also helped me to preserve the income, even though I was paying it on a cash flow basis, mm -hmm. it was 100% tax deductible. So mm -hmm. we, just as you just said, we are mm -hmm. all capable of creating our own benefit package. And that's what's special about being an entrepreneur. So I'll talk a little bit about the benefits and also tie in the retirement side of it, if I may. So when I left my job, a lot of entrepreneurs don't know about what they call as a solo 401k. And so that all that money that I was saving, because I knew this was my exit plan, that was the last job I planned on having. And so for me, what people don't know is when they tell you that you have this 401k that you can never touch, right? That's because you don't know any better. But as entrepreneurs, they have something called a solo 401k, and you actually can go to solo401k.com and get more information about it. I actually rolled over my employer one into my own employer 401k. And so now I still have retirement, you know, because as an entrepreneur, you know, they say you technically aren't given into social security, but you can create your own retirement plan. And that's how you do it with rolling over your employer one, the one you had with your job into one that's for your own business. So keep that in mind, guys, there's ways to get around a benefit thing. I know it may not make sense right now, but as you're doing more research, because this is the key of all of this, being an entrepreneur is one part is act, one part is knowing, you know, so you have to know some things in order for you to act. And so that retirement plan, all I did was rolled it over into my own employer led. So it was my own business led retirement plan. And I was so excited. I had access to all my money. You know, they told us you can never touch it before. So it depends on the type of product. But when you roll it over into the solo 401k, you actually have access to it. You can use it for um, retirement. You can use it for cryptocurrency, buying that. You can buy real estate with it. All of that, all tax deductible. Because the way the solo 401k is set up, is actually set up like a trust where you have full access to it. What they call is checkbook um, writing capabilities, meaning you can access it and touch it and feel it and do what you want with it as long as you put it back and or as long as you are using it towards, you know, specific things like investments, you actually can take access over all your monies you've been saving. So that's another myth I just wanted to throw out there outside of the health benefit part that people just aren't very um, understanding or know about. That is incredible information. And again, it's not mainstream information that you're sharing. And these are the things that make the difference in the success of especially newer uh, business owners, people who are starting up businesses, because these are some of the main areas of concern. 